In this video, we're gonna take a look at the very exciting add-on from Polygonic, the developers behind the well-known botanic and traffic add-ons. Today's latest addition to the Polygonic family is an add-on that contains a library of animated, highly customizable water assets called Aquatic. But it is not just that, because it brings with it other cool stuff as well. You can easily add water to your scene instead of spending hours creating water simulations. It can be also great for game developers because the add-on uses simple planes with animated textures to simulate the flow of water. The Aquatic Water Library is comprised of more than 30 plus modular water assets that you can use as building blocks for your water system. Not only that, the add-on also comes with Waterra Water Shader, which is an advanced shader for creating animated water surfaces with low memory requirements. The shader is also sold separately, with a huge list of customization over the animation and look of the water. The add-on allows you to use materials such as lake, ocean, shoreline, and so much more. And it comes with a long list of pre-made assets such as different fountains, basins, and vertical wall fountains. After the installation, you will find the add-on in the end panel of your 3D viewport. The interface is really simple because it is divided into different sections, assets, utilities, scenes, and materials. To start dropping assets into your scene, hit the spawn asset button at the top, and a small dialog box will appear with the category field. Here you can choose between three options which are Facts, Fountains, and Modular. The effects are like the individual building blocks for the water system. For example, there are circular or directional splashes, drop splashes, or spray with various shapes and thicknesses. The fountains are just a collection of pre-made water assets that you can incorporate into your scene or modify any way you like. There are 17 high quality assets like fountains in different shapes such as circular, square, glover, decagon, etc. They work really well if you are an ArcVis artist and you want to populate your scene with some water assets. Modular is similar to the effect in that you can use them to build your waterfall or fountain, however they are comprised of multiple assets from the effects category if that makes sense. You can also choose if you want the assets to be editable or not by clicking the Made Editable checkbox and you can put the assets into a dedicated collection by ticking the Use Aquatic Collection checkbox right next to that. All the assets added to the scene can be turned editable again by using the button Convert to Editable which converts collections and objects into mesh data with editable materials and also merges all the similar data together to save memory. Furthermore, the Convert to Link button will convert selected objects to their original variant from polygonic assets. The add-on also comes with multiple high-quality water shaders. To adjust the material which is uneditable at first, you can use a Convert to Editable feature. To see the whole shader setup, you have to jump to the Shader Editor, and this node group holds all the settings and adjustments of the body of the water you choose, like animation speed, water roughness, foam strength, volume, density, and so much more. To add water, select an object that you want to apply the water material to, then hit Spawn Material and choose a water type from the list and hit OK. And to make sure your object has some volume otherwise, the shader won't work properly. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.